Um, this video came a little bit sooner than expected, and I'm also going back to my my roots of doing a screen record on my computer. Um, I just passed my information systems management course. Um, uh, not gonna lie, I kind of I I didn't do any studying for this class. Just some background. I work in the field. I work in an information systems department. So when I saw this class, I was like, oh, this one should probably be pretty quick for me. So I decided to take a, the pre-assessment, and I took it and passed and did well, pretty well in it. And so I looked at the clock, and I saw that the next half hour block that I could take the test was like eight minutes away. So I really quickly just signed up for it, and I took the test. I did have some trouble actually getting into the um, pro getting connected to the proctor, so that kind of scared me. I thought I might have to just wait to take my test tomorrow, but I was able to take it. Um, so, like I said, I didn't do any studying of coursework, um, the course material that was provided. I didn't do any of that, so I can't really suggest anything there. But from what I can remember, um, this course asks questions related to like networking hardware um, information systems systems development and kind of like information security and i know those are all pretty vague but it doesn't go very in depth to any of those conversations into those topics so if you have a foundation in networking like I do, you'll probably do really well because it just, most of what it talks about is just like very basic concepts like what is TCP IP or what, um, what would you do, what kind of encryption would you use for blah, 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 something like that. Um, and then also computer hardware and software. So if you ever worked in a help desk, like you might get a question about what is a software application versus what is a system application, um, stuff like that, and then also like decision making in business. So I think really here it's a combination of classes that you've taken before. So if you, so for example, if this is the first class you're taking and you don't have any IT experience. I'm probably going to have to study a lot. However, if you have taken, let's see, principles of management and information technology management essentials and then network and security, you'll probably be fine. Um, it pulled a lot from previous classes, even project management. Um, if you've taken that class, you'll probably do just well in this one. Um, it briefly covers databases as well, so if you have any familiarity with databases, worked in a database, you'll probably be good with those questions. I mean, also e-commerce, not something else, e-commerce and social media. It, it, it goes over those. So if you are familiar with social media and how that can benefit a business, you'll probably answer those questions just fine. And if you know what business to business is or business to commerce, sorry, business to consumer, um, what those mean and how you would identify those in a scenario that you're given, like if you're given a scenario and you can correctly identify whether it's business to business or business to consumer, you'll do just fine. And honestly, even if you're pretty good at kind of narrowing down um, the best answers, you'll probably be fine as well. However, I do have experience in this field, so I have probably a lot of bias um, and a bit of an advantage in this course compared to someone who doesn't have any experience. So if you don't have any experience, definitely read the course material. I'm sure it has great information in there. But if you have 
experience in IT and you work in an IT department or an information systems department, you'll probably do just fine in this course with doing minimal studying or none at all like myself. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to knock this course out and I can move on to some other courses that I don't have familiarity in and work on those ones. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in.